Uh, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. It turns out YouTube thinks I've been killing real people this entire time while I've been playing this game. And we've been having a bit of trouble with the highlight videos on YouTube because of this. And it turns out if we murder anyone violently in the first 15 seconds, that'll do it. So for this particular bit of murder here, you know, Chloe, if you just want to slap some like royalty free music and just heavily blur this, um, you know, because we can have a... <laughs> oh, that's really going to need some censoring. That's really going <laughs> to... We're going to need a lot of goofy on the screen. You know, we're just making a nice jam sandwich right about now. And there's really nothing to fix. I think we're past the 15 seconds now. <sighs> Welcome to New Vegas. We're finally here and we have some quests to do and stuff to check out. Uh, today, we are finally going to meet Benny. Uh, once again, though, we, we, we have some stuff we need to do just before that. No one but Omeritas are allowed to carry guns into Gamora. Check your... Keep my holdout weapons. Uh, do, do I even have a holdout weapon? 23 sticks of C4. Oh my god. Bud, I, like, you really didn't do a good job patting me down. That's a lot of bombs. <laughs> and he let me keep the detonator. Let me know if the pretty lady with you is looking for some work. No, America Thug. I'm glad they don't let just any motherfucker through the gate. <laughs> Freeside smells like shit. Oh, you are just a lovely individual. Hey, you ever heard of the tree trunk test? Oh, okay, no, he's heard of it. He's heard of it. <laughs> what the hell's going on in your crazy head? It's, it's nice to meet you too. Uh, maybe, maybe I should look a bit more normal. Well, this will have to do for today. We'll we'll repair our gear soon. We need someone we can talk to. Well, what do we have here, huh? Let me guess. You've heard about the mistress who makes all your fantasies. Actually, I'm looking to uh, so take down the owners of the casino. <laughs> <laughs> I always have what it takes. Like, my name is John Oppenheimer. I, I just want information. Do we, do we have to talk a bit to, to get the info we need? I don't, I don't want to proposition you here. Oh, confident. <laughs> I like that. I'm just trying to so, find information. I just, I just have some questions for you. All right, honey. <laughs> hey, I've, I've got real good sneak, right? Uh-oh. Never mind. I'm not gonna be able to get up there because I think this is the stairs. But this guy, this guy is gonna have none of it. You think I can stealthily kill him? Okay, what if I just... No, no, they, they, they just immediately know. Mick from Mick and Rouse says the murder stopped buying guns suddenly without giving a reason why. Maybe I should ask around and see if I can find out why. Man. Jacob's absinthe is phenomenal stuff. Okay, he, he's just day drinking. Trouble. Hang on, uh, I'm pretty sure the kids are invincible, right? Oh, there was. <laughs> I don't think he was invincible. No. <laughs> hey there, Gorge. Hey, I'm I'm here for a quest. So, what do you want to do with what? You <laughs> I'm just here for a quest. Uh, what can you tell me about the Emertus? What do you want to know about those sons of bitches? There we go. Nero's the pack leader, and Big Saul's his right hand. What Nero wants, Big Saul does. Then there's Kachino. Look, I'm stuck here. I know that. Carlitos is the only thing that kept me going. And now I don't have anything. Let's, let's check in on him. I think if we do this quest, it may give us an in for the Gamora main quest we actually want. Because uh, we're still trying to do the absolutely piss Caesar off route before we meet him. And we want him to forgive all of our notorious crimes that we've committed against him. What did you say? I mean, Joanna sent you. Good to meet you, Liam. Why don't you get out of Gamora? What, you think I can just waltz in there and take her away? She's there, doll, now, okay? Besides, I step in Gamora and I'm as good as dead, you hear? You don't just leave the Emeritus unless it's in a body bag. <laughs> I'll let her know, you know? Hey, you want to get out? I have a body bag here. <laughs> Thanks for helping me, Liam. We should have just got the Ultralux first. Uh, you know? Veronica, actually, yeah, we, we want to get you a new dress, don't we? Yeah, let's just... We'll help them in their plan a bit. Beg your pardon, stranger, but I'm looking for someone. 
You ain't seen a young man with dark brown hair and a white hat on lately, have you? I've seen him here in the hotel. No, I haven't. <sighs> ain't nobody got one darn piece of news about my boy. Not one lousy speck of information. So, welcome to Beyond the Beef. Uh, we need to ask around the Ultralux for information regarding Ted Gunderson's disappearance and get Ted back to his father if he's still alive. For the last time, the White Glove Society has never and will never consume <laughs> human flesh for any reason. It's written in the charter. That's a very important detail <laughs> for the casino. But that's all changed now. We've evolved past such base impulses since settling into our new home. I've seen to it that those days are behind us. It's okay, I eat people too. You can tell me the truth. <laughs> I really want to say it. Okay, hang on. Let me just save it. Welcome to the Ultra. It's okay, I eat people too. You can tell me the truth. You disgust me. <laughs> How dare you say such a filthy thing in my establishment? I ought to have you arrested. You'll kindly mind your tongue or we shan't speak any further. Yeah, that's that's fair. You know, that's fair. Wait, I know I too know what it is is like to feel the craving. How can I support your cause? Good. <laughs> you know what it is to be discreet in matters oh, of shit. nutrition. Perhaps you can help me. I'm in a bind. I don't oh, an no. society dinner, but there's a bit of a problem with the main course. He's got a powerful and temperamental father. The main course is a person. Yes. The wrong person. We scouted the right one for weeks. The heir to a mercantile empire. Sort of a black sheep. He cut ties with his family and left their estate to wander. He was ideal. Corn-fed and well-to-do. Corn-fed! But no one to miss him <laughs> if he were to disappear. Unfortunately, the trap my subordinate set for him failed. And as he escaped, he saw their faces. Now he's wary. If you could send him here or knock him out with this, and drag him into the dumpster next to his house. Oh my can do the rest. god. Put my companion here make a suitable replacement meal. <laughs> uh, no, nah, we're not serving Veronica. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and double cross him. I'll do it. Where could I find Ted Gunderson? Splendid, splendid. The boy is being held in the kitchen beneath the gourmand. Here are some keys that will allow you access to him. The Elder Gunderson is staying in our penthouse. I understand he's hired security, so be careful if you go up there. And our Mr. St. Clair resides to the north. He rarely strays far from his house, and he surrounded it with booby traps. I'm just, I'm not doing that. It's like, I love how it's hushed. Okay, hang on, now quick save. All right, I gotta see. Would my companion here make a suitable replacement meal? Her skin has a certain supple quality to it, doesn't <laughs> no. it? She's kept it well. How mouth-watering. Very well. If you're able to convince young Mr. Gunderson to return to his father, replace him in the freezer with your friend and we'll have a deal. It's so matter-of-fact where it's like, Oh, well, I got a pizza in the fridge already, but hey, you bring a pepperoni topping, you know, we can have just have that one instead. Hey, Ted, how you doing? My daddy's gonna kill all you bastards once he finds out what you done to me. I'll make sure you don't live to tell him. I've out of come to get you out of here. My daddy sent you? God damn it. I almost died in here. What the hell took you so long? It's just one damn hotel. Who did this to me anyway? They hit me over the head before I got a look at him. We, we yeah, like members of the White Glove Society, they were going to eat you. Your dad's powerful. Someone wants him to feud with the White Glove Society. My daddy's got a lot of enemies. It don't make no sense that the White Pants Society would kidnap me. He's here to do business with them. Well, you got a point. But if you don't know who it is, my daddy's gonna be awful mad he ain't got anyone to shoot over this. Alright, let's get out of here. Okay, let's bust Ted out of here. You know, if we help the cannibals, we might be able to get him on our side and, like, have a powerful faction here in the heart of Vegas. Oh you think God. about it, really, it might, it might not be so right? bad. Quit what would Oppenheimer do? <laughs> I don't know who took him, I just found him. Confound it. I just don't know Fame how gained. to sleep knowing whoever done this got away. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. We're so in with them. You are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. We've been accepted by the strip as well. Keep your distance. Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> Look out behind you, pistol whip Caroline. <laughs> we're not we're not strong enough for it. You, you don't seem like you fit in here. That obvious, huh? Yeah, I'm not from around here. But where I'm from, they don't want me, so that's just as well. Really, with my reputation, there aren't many places I can go that'll have me. 
My own family's blackballed me, and they got a lot of clout. Joining the White Glove Society could clear your name. They're respected. <laughs> like, I think if I send them, I can still double cross them. I think I can, I can still figure it out and maybe save him. I don't know if he'll be carved up immediately. Yeah? Okay, maybe I will. Hell, anything's better than this. Thanks. Porn fed acquired. He's so well done. So, it, is he immediately dead or will there be a chance to save him? Because I, I think I can dupe him. There's, a, there's a, some really weird ways to end this quest. You have done very well in keeping this business low key. I appreciate your discretion. I'll be sure to drop your name during our functions. I hope you understand what a tremendous boon this will be to your standing in society. I think I have to lie to Mortimer, so I gotta go further back. It's like a complete utter way to resolve this. So let's meet up with the investigator. I hear a troublesome legion camp got raised to the ground. We're gonna be hearing that a lot soon. Is the investigator's room, Jay Barnes. No white gloves. It doesn't have to be this way. Okay, Veronica, be careful. <laughs> Veronica, where, where, where'd you get that golf club? Oh no, she picked up the cane. Yeah, let's get a disguise. Uh, nothing to see here, folks. We're just gonna we're just gonna put these dudes away. Excuse me, ma'am. You dropped your leg. Your lady friend seems out of place here. Bit rude, but okay. I'm sure he's all right. Almost scrawled uh, across the batch, back of the matchbook. Steam room at 4 p.m. What we're gonna do? White glove society attire. Ooh, got something good for me? Is it a dress? If we give this to her. Ah, for me? Do you mean it? No, no, it's too much. Well, okay, but it's too much. Oh, it's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. That guy, that guy's just having some trouble. <laughs> oh, God. The White Glove Society has a banquet every night at 7. It's in our private section. Mortimer wants to reintroduce humans into our cuisine. Since eating people is a crime we punish by death, he's going to do it in secret. After everyone has eaten it, he'll tell them. With no real way to punish everyone, in Mortimer's mind anyway, their minds will be open to the idea of eating people as a delicacy. Nothing you can do to help me. I could sponsor you as an honorary member, but I don't know that you've achieved the level of status that would gain the society's approval. Perhaps if you were to gain some more notoriety on the strip, we could get oh, you Oh no! We Otherwise, don't have enough clout. What if his revelation were a lie? What if no one had eaten human flesh but him? If you could somehow replace Philippe in the kitchen and serve a convincing substitute instead, you could walk Ted right through the middle of that room after Mortimer speaks, and then he'd have some explaining to do. Philippe has been trying to approximate the taste of human flesh for years. He must have a recipe somewhere. Okay, so let's go. Oh! Oh no, just immediately! Damn you, assassin! That was a strong hit! Ugh. I'm so relaxed. Too bad I can't stay long. <laughs> but who can at these prices? Yeah, they're really gouging you. I want to join the White Gloves Society. I was told I need a sponsor. If you had more notoriety or clout. No, she but actually says clout. Different. People need to have heard of you, and you must be well thought of. Oh, no. Okay, but that's all right. We're going to avoid becoming a member because we're going to... We're going to just sneak our way in. So let's let's replace Philippe Salutation. and become the chef. Why are you standing still? Do you think the world waits for you while you stand there drooling? Get back out there and get to work. You may have been confused. Oh, really? So despite your filthy face and your vacant expression and your complete lack of human dignity, you're telling me you're not a server. And the uh, latest season of The Bear is it's pretty harsh. Your predisposition towards anger suggests unresolved issues in your past. What kind of harebrained fucking psychobabble bullshit is that? I yell at people because I like yelling at people and because they fucking deserve it. Not because Mumsy and Daddykins didn't hug me enough. Maybe you projected. Tell me more about your parents. Oh, I see how it is. You think because my father walked out on us when I was five, now I have to yell at people. <laughs> or because my mother was a deranged chem fiend who regularly brought strange men home who told me to call them uncle. Or because oh my, my sisters would lock me in a shipping crate when they didn't want me around. And my brother... 
God, I'd forgotten about that. How could they do that to me? I can't stay here. I need to be alone. What about the banquet? Forget about the fucking banquet. You know what? You can do it. You be the star chef. Take my recipes. It won't fill the hole, though. Just remember that. You'll always feel empty. Oh, thanks, Philly. <laughs> Time to serve the meal. At once. Optional being bring Ted to the members only section to expose Mortimer at the end of his banquet speech. You don't know it yet, but you are all now guilty of a greater crime. One that ordinarily bears the harshest of punishments. For our society to be truly elite, we must dine on the most delicious, the most exclusive food known to us. And tonight, for the first time as a society, you are sampling that very dish. The meat we are forbidden to taste. The way it was meant to be eaten. Fellow members of the White Glove Society. Here he goes. Bon appetit. Wait, 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 one sec, hang on. Hope everyone's still hungry. Because here's your justice. Why are they attacking me? Why are they attacking me? Why are they attacking me? <laughs> I gotta do it again. What the? Who is this trespasser? Okay, there we go. Bad news, Mortimer. No one's eating the boy you kidnapped tonight. I'm looking for the gourmand. Excuse me, I'm looking for the restaurant. <laughs> Get them. Watch out. <laughs> what are you? Why is he there? Who are we eating right now? Sorry, Mortimer. Secret recipe. It isn't human, though. I can tell you that. No! These are lies. I never kidnapped anyone. And even if I did, there's no harm done. He's alive, after all. Too late, Mortimer. You already said too much. You'll all hear from me again. He's just legging it. Watch out! Wait, no! Veronica! 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 No, it doesn't! <laughs> Veronica, no! What have you done? Veronica, you gotta go home. You gotta go home real quick. Would you willing to be- Are you willing to sponsor me now? The answer is still no, I fear. I literally you just saved your society. Town, really. Think big. You're- Come back. I literally- I'm literally idolized. Well... Everyone's still hungry. Because I've got an additional course to prepare. Some more explosives. I don't want to miss. Hey, Ted, you want to... Oh, he's having some trouble with his gums. You want to stand clear, Ted. I brought some friends along for tonight's dinner. Bon appetit. Does it? None of them maniacs will ever do business with Heck Gunderson long as they live. Hell, I'll put me together a damn body. Oh, I think this is the consequences. Hurts. They control the food? Well, there ain't gonna be no food. Not for anybody in this whole damn town. That's just they want you to be driving the city to eat each other. <laughs> but you got a point. They're already hell bent on depravity here. All I'd be doing is helping them along. All right. Well, I promised you I'd make it worth your while. So here you are. Try not to lose it all at the same casino. We've been accepted. I'm not really gambling. I'm just hoping to be seen here. People will think I'm rich. Oh, you're you're doing great, bud. She'll have to go disguised. Gamora's packed around midnight, and the bouncers won't notice just another patron leaving the joint. Grand Frieza, we meet us. I'll be near the entrance, but I need to keep out of sight. The emeritus have contact. I help as a price. No, let's just let's just help him out. Come on. People are looking at us. Ready to get out? We're ready. Let's get the hell out of here before they recognize us. Let's go. Why why are you why are you not just running up the street? Oh, the gang's here, okay. You've made it. Thanks so much for your help. I owe you more than wait, what's that? Uh-oh. Well, well, well. If it isn't our whore Joanna. Oh no, it's angry I Liam. Believe this. There's like there's like three Liam O'Brien standing here next to each other. <laughs> At least he's trading what he stole for Joanna. I was hired to see that he does. All the dough. A 
Chino once said this traitor flipped with thousands off the record. Why wasn't I informed? Boss kept it a secret. Carlitos would have not dealt directly with Emeritus. I see. We're yeah. just that good. Kachino has said things that make me think there's a big and nasty operation in the works. Something about getting even with Mr. House. Just thought you'd like to know. Okay. That's the, that, I think that's the quest trigger we need. How little we know. There we go. That's what we were looking for. There he is. I hear you've been asking questions about me, dickweed. What the future do you want? <laughs> Most people just say hello. Maybe we're doing some business on the side. Business? What the future do you mean business? You looking to get yourself burned? Now you start talking real clear, and I mean future crystal clear, because I'm about to lose my patience. We're gonna need a lot of YouTubes for this guy. Uh, what can you tell me about Gamora? I banged Lot's wife and licked a salty <laughs> ass. Did you know I look like? I'm the one asking the questions here. Kachina's journal documents a couple months of Kachina's activities. It contains a detailed ledger describing many of his business deals over the last few months, including the sales of chems and weapons. It's clear at a quick glance at these transactions at his own personal finances. This is done behind the backs of the Emerita family management structure. You again? What the YouTube do you want? You can swear at me every sentence. And this ledger. Where the did you, did you get that? Okay, listen, buddy. That's some dangerous shit you got there. That book can get me killed if the wrong people see it. Let's talk. What do you want? A hundred caps and you help me break up whatever your bosses have planned. The bosses, Big Sal and Nero, have been working for a while on this. They're arming themselves like an army, using this new guy, Troik. They also brought in a specialist named Clandon. At least that's what they introduced him as. Okay, so we gotta we gotta check in on some of these guys, Landon and Troik. Uh, what do you what do you do around here? A little bit of this and a little bit of that. How specific? How'd you end up at a hotel suite? I'm a close friend of some of the family around here. I do some independent contracting around the casino, and they set me up with this great room. That's all he's got to say. Okay, so that means if I just take your room key, <laughs> snuff tapes. Tapes contain horrific sounds of murder and violence. You hear Clandon engaged in violent sex with women, and then hear the sounds of visceral and violent murder being carried out. Uh, okay, I see how it is. Clandon, got a got a little gift for you. Clandon, pull my finger. Optional. Kill Clandon. <laughs> Fart sound effect. Chloe, Chloe, can we add a, a like a loud farting noise <laughs> when Clandon explodes? Clandon, pull my finger. <laughs> Thanks, Chloe. We can help Kachino break up whatever the bosses are planning. Do I tell him that? Yeah. Well, fuck that. The bosses have my number, and I'm a company man. While they got the goods on me. If you don't help me, I'll report your work here to NCR. Great. So I'm you either way. I guess I don't have any choice but to help you. Just try not to get me killed here. I've lost karma for that. Oh, apparently I'm a bad guy. As a little pet project, I've been making some thermite. Thermite burns as hot as the devil's asshole and can melt through just about anything. I've been Pretty keeping good. it so if the family betrays me, I can hopefully do some damage before I end up dead or in jail. If you don't deploy the thermite yourself, I'll tell the bosses what you've been planning. Hey, you fuck you. I'll place the future in thermite myself. You get out of the casino for a bit. I'll take care of it while you're gone. Just make our way on out. You lost the pimp boy. Oh, is the pimp boy tied to this quest? Actually, I didn't think about that. Might actually want to reload it a little bit. We can help you get out of your contract. More power to you if you can, but keep me out of it. I've been doing business with Big Saw. Okay, talk to Big Saw. Ah, Trike. What do you want? Some more jet? A fresh batch of girls? Maybe a guy or two this time. Actually, I'd like to see about getting him out of his obligations. About negotiating some lower prices for weapons for you guys. He's pretty strung out of even more trouble than he's worth. He seems just tired. Really? That was his idea? Alright, he can go. Okay, we got him out. We've been let go. Holy shit. Really? Okay, I'll help you. But I'm getting the hell out of here first chance I get. We do to take care of the guns. As a little pet. Thermite. Give me the thermite and I'll destroy the weapons. Okay, here's the thermite and a key to the room where the guns are stored. I rigged the light switch outside the room to kick off a spark big enough to hold the thermite. As soon as we're done talking, I'm going to make myself like a ghost. Cool. Oh! Jesus Christ. 
I didn't expect it to be so blinded. I destroyed all the guns. Whoa, you managed to pull that off? Solid work. That ought to gum up the boss's plans. There isn't gonna be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun and we can take them out. I'm gonna expect something from me. You can do it and surprise them. Are we gonna take out Kachino as well by doing this? All right, I'll take care of them. Just give me the word when to start shooting. We don't even need to get our hands dirty. But, I've still got a lot of C4 on me. And it's very funny to use it. Hey, I'll take care of them when you're ready. Just say the word. I suggest doing it while they're Let's talking. Let's have some the word. Buddy, take buddy, they heard you. Second gentleman. I hope you know what you're doing. <laughs> wow, you've been a real thorn in our side. We've got business plans. You set us back a little bit, I'll admit that. However, we wanted you to know that nothing you did made a ship bit of difference, and you're going to die. <laughs> okay. That's the last request. Will you let me? Will you tell me more about your plan? Are you shitting me? You didn't even know what the plan was. <laughs> yeah. As a last request, got a bit of a Bond villain monologue here. Well, Nero didn't tell me any of this when he convinced me to take you out. <laughs> Let's go, YouTube. I knew there had to be someone higher up helping you. Nero, you backstabbing, two-timing mother... You, you, I knew this day would come. <laughs> oh, Kachino! Wait, no, Kachino! <laughs> Kachino! We gotta leave someone in charge. Do we get Kachino as well? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I guess we do. Yeah, he's actually pretty rough. All of them deserve it. That's <laughs> like striking a pose in his final moments. We did it. We saved the casino. Oh, wait, no. Everyone's hostile. And I'm locked in the room. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. So what I can do is I think Big Sal dies first. If I pop this explosive further back. Shit, it was a little too far back. <laughs> So, try again. <laughs> nah, they're all gonna die! <laughs> no matter how I try engineer it. Let's just keep that door closed. All is well. Cheeto needs to be alive for the pimp boy, I believe. No, please! <laughs> please! Yeah, we got him. Find yourself a girl or a guy. Hey, thanks for all the hard work back there. I'm gonna run a tight ship here, don't you worry. Plan to play some games in the casino. Of course, after all you did for me, here are some chips for you. Play, have some fun. Well, we we did it. We we got there in the end. It took a lot of work. Pinboy can still be obtained after killing the murder, so you can kill him first and talk to Mick after ending conversation with Mick. Ask him about the business again. It'll give you the option to upgrade the pit boy but he won't mention it first. So you can kill them! <laughs> Everyone's gone. Everyone. I can't believe the entire Gamora casino passed away from natural causes. I think that might have consequences. I don't know if we should do that. <laughs> okay, we, we got we got to reload. Okay, just just keep Kachino going. Funny, get in the YouTube room. Yeah, I know why you've called us here. I know why you've called us here. Damn! This is nice clip there. Alright, we're, we're good. We can leave the casino now, yes? Good news, the murder said they'll buy arms from you again. Outstanding. You have no idea how much this means to me. Did but they, did they say it? We just kind of killed them. Pimp boy tree billion was equipped. Get the light on it. Oh, it's so bright. It's studded out. It's so ugly. <laughs> My eyes. 
does this update on, on your arm, too. It's so YouTube bright. Hey, you're the oh, one thanks. Thank you. Thank you for the stew. I need to go say hey to the Great Khans, because they have an alliance with Caesar. And I want a YouTube set up for Caesar as well, because Caesar is going to have the worst possible day. And I'm going to just ruin literally all of his plans simultaneously. I need to talk to you. I don't know why they're freaking out. What's wrong with them? Oh, Carol's journal. Here we go. This journal consists of a detailed records and observations from Carol's time with the Great Khans. Many of the entries go into great detail about his opinion of their savage, barbarous customs. At several points, he waxes philosophic about how it's very likely that Caesar's legion will have to execute the lot of them. Let me see that. Filthy savages probably have to decimate the lot of them. Are these the words of our friend, Caesar? Great Khans, drive Caesar's dog out of our camp. If he's too slow to flee, kill him. Oh. Hey. I, I, I think they sure. got him. You don't need to look outward, Mighty Khan. Your tribe is proud and strong. Claim your own glory. Well spoken, traveler. Well spoken indeed. Perhaps it's time to find our own destiny, unburdened by the past. We'll begin readying the camp to move. As soon as Caesar makes his move, we'll depart. We will make ourselves strong again, and we shall conquer. Level 49. We're on the last level now for XP. I have to check something, actually, for the spreadsheet. Because uh, there's special Good level 50 gosh. perks, but your karma actually matters when you hit level 50 because it helps determine what perk you get at the end of the e end of the game. Immunity to crits, but plus 50% critical damage. I, I, I think we want the crits. That means my karma needs to drop, though. I need to be neutral. If I, if I just steal a shitload of stuff, I mean, I can think of one way to get karma, but it ain't pretty. <laughs> it ain't pretty. And it's gonna get a bit messy and might affect some of our factions. <laughs> if I wait, if I kill Easy Pete, <laughs> will that affect it? Hang on. Hey. Didn't get far enough, did you? I lost karma for Trudy. I didn't lose karma for Easy Pete. Oh, what if I finally go back and murder Chet? How much does this give me? What if I just... Lost karma. You've lost karma. You've lost karma. It's a lot of karma lost. I'm gonna- I've- Killing chat doesn't seem to even affect it. Yeah, but I will- I will still rob a store, because YouTube him, you know? Um, what I'm gonna do as well- oh, that's so- YouTube, right? <laughs> I'm gonna- <laughs> Let me put some stuff away. I think they're gonna know that, like, the stock is gone. We're- okay, we're down to good. Bro, we're, we're down to good. If I rob a few more homes... This is where Cliff Briscoe lives as well. Neutral, true mortal, there we go. Okay, I'm just gonna drop all this shit down here. Okay, have a good one, Cliff. To make things worse for Caesar's Legion, we need to work the Crimson Caravan a while. Because there's one more YouTube queue we can still send them. There's a small trading outfit, Cassidy Caravans, that I'm interested in acquiring. They've been rather competitive, so it's time to buy them out. I have it on good authority that the owner, Cass, wants out of the caravan business. Cass frequently trades with the NCR, so you'll likely find her at the Mojave outpost. Okay, so I gotta buy, I gotta buy Cass's caravan. That's easy. <laughs> Why? Oh, I'm glad we got this quest reward, let me tell you. They want to buy Cassidy Caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. I'm not going to offer money. I wanted to drink for it. Well, let's go. You challenging me? Serious now. All right. You come here armed with whiskey. We'll make a sport of it. And none of that radioactive shit. I'm talking whiskey, not Dixon whiskey. Whiskey. I got a dozen bottles of whiskey to be back. I'll be waiting then. How, how much whiskey you got? That's not a lot. Oh, uh, Lacey, I'm gonna have to steal. I can see some on the shelf.
stealthiest man in the Mojave. Patrol in the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear win. <laughs> Sorry, got the whiskey. Let's do this. All right then. I already got a head start, but I'll go first anyway. Three whiskeys removed immediately. I totally love you and your little hat. But I met you. I thought you were the biggest. <laughs> you know, you put up a good fight. I'm impressed. <laughs> Thing is, I really just wanted an excuse to drink. Should last me for a while. Might just be the whiskey talking, but I think I might feel a whole lot better leaving the caravan business behind me. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel oh, it's already relieved, over. Actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. You come with me? Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? Hey, you know exactly what's gonna happen day in, day out. So, fighting boredom is your argument, huh? Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. Alright, I'm in. Whiskey Rose perk. While cast as a companion, she and the player gain damage threshold when they ever they drink whiskey. Additionally, the player does not suffer intelligence loss from consuming alcohol. It ignores the negative effects of alcohol addiction. Uh, Cass's quest will actually ruin things for Caesar as well, which is why we want to do Cass's quest right now. Because uh, we're going to get a particular end in just to make things worse for him. One more headache for Caesar. And we want him to have some headaches, believe me. <laughs> Every time. And it's hard to see the pit boy. Can you turn the brightness up? Yeah, sure thing. Oh, that was fine there. Sometimes it's okay. God. There's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. The least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. The Kaisar has marked you for death. Oh, okay. Good luck with that. You know what? <laughs> what happened in my caravan? Yeah, sorry, sorry, we got to interrupt in our conversation, Cass. And Graf Thug. Found this guy earlier. Gonna take your clothes just for, probably for repairs. Oh my god. That does it. That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm going to get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. Find Alice McLafferty and settle accounts. It's fine you did all of Alice's quests. I don't think this is the Oppenheimer way. I don't, I don't know if it is. I was just going to kill the bad graphs. There's more than one way to do this. There's a caravaneer just on the PC. What? Oh, I missed a guy too in the corner. Excuse me. Those cons got the hint. We've shown everyone that these are our new territories. And that's it for the Crimson Caravan. Now, on to I just the wanted to kill the Van Graffs. I hope everyone's still chill. No, the Ringo! We worked so hard to save him! Oh, there's, there's gotta be another way to do this. I can do the dynamite route to kill Alice. I didn't want there to be this many consequences. I've actually made a mistake. Uh, I'm good. Does anyone have some bullets? I just need one. Hey there. I'm gonna need a bullet, Blake. There we go. Okay. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. What have you done? I've got <laughs> no. It's because it's armed. I need to just drop one. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, come on. That fiend leader shouldn't have messed with our great army. Blake, I'm gonna need some dynamite. Hey there. Did, did e Easy Pete had some? No, Pete, why? Why? Thank you, Pete. Cut it out, will you? 
It was you. Oh no, wait, no, it's not counting as I killed her. No! <laughs> no! And that's it. Okay, no, it's fine. Now. It's fine. Okay, we got it. We gotta kill the Van Graffs. I think there's a quest with the Van Graffs you might want to do first. So I'm gonna get cast just to wait here. Hey, how's it going, gang? I'm gonna have to murder you soon, but until then, you know, we're on good terms. Welcome to the Silver. Have you got any work? It just so happens a position opened up recently. We currently need another body to guard the entrance outside. Count me in. You'll be covering the other side of the door there. Take your position while I get your stuff out. Lastly, don't abandon your post. We're getting paid to stand next to this door, not talk to someone down the street or head to the casino. Yeah, it should be fine. We, we, we can do this job. You want to see you want to see a cool trick? Cut it out. Here comes a winner. <laughs> I'll let you handle this. Hi there. Is this where I can pick up a laser gun? <laughs> Sure is. Go on in. I don't think I should. Nah, just get the hell out of here. Fine, I'm going. I'm going. I'll take my business elsewhere. Gotta, gotta turn him down. I could, I could just kill him. Another one coming. You're on. Speed up them walking. Uh, <laughs> hi. I was uh, in the area and thought I'd stop by to look for weapons. <laughs> Can I go in? A little close. We're gonna have to search you first. Fine by me. He's clean. See? Not so hard, is it? Heads up. He's coming. Howdy. I just done broke the bank over at the Wrangler there and thought I might peruse your fine wares. Maybe lighten my purse a little? Need to pat you down for weapons first. Now hold on here. I'm not packing any heat. Ain't my word good enough for you? Sure might have your word, sir, but we still need to pat you down. No exceptions. I suppose it's all right. If there's no other choice. He's clean. See, told you so. No sense of personal space. Don't screw it up. Hey, looking for something to replace my old revolver. Mind if I head in? He's just stared at your soul. So, there's a fun ending for this quest. You've come to the right place. Go on in. Thanks. I've come a long way. We're supposed to pat everyone down. Didn't you hear that part of my instructions? They're all dead. Guy must have had some kind of explosive on him. Set off all the ordnance in this place at once. Congratulations, rookie. You just cost me my job. Don't think I don't appreciate it. I'm upset about his job and not the fact that like everyone is already dead. Some help out here. Da -da -dee, da -da -da. You know, sometimes it's simply an act of God that commits the violence and not ourselves. In this case, it was just a guy with a bomb. Payback's a bitch, ladies. And between Gloria and Alice, that settles accounts as far as I'm concerned. That's getting the hand of vengeance perk, giving her a bonus to damage with guns. But we did it. We we saved Crimson Caravan. I mean, hey, it might still piss off Caesar because the Van Graffs are technically dead. So, you know, we we get there in the end. It's time to actually meet Benny. We no longer going to be on the tutorial. Get level 50 first. close this is it hunter no we have I enough decided... welcome at last to the end of our road with level 50.
Just lucky I'm alive. You've had lots of close calls. Whenever you finish a fight with less than 25% health, your luck increases by plus four for three minutes. You're also immune to critical hits. And your own critical hits inflict 50% extra damage. That bit at the end is all we need. Welcome to fabulous New Vegas. How many hours did it take? 50, 53 hours, just shy. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. It was you smashed up the Omertus? You did that? Shit. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere it's more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Two conditions, lose the bodyguards, and we both go to the suite now. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. Chip belongs to me, hand it over. Baby, ease off the gas. The chip belongs in the hands of someone who can use it, as in me, not you. What's the chip do? It has something to do with the Securitrons, I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. It was House's big idea to resurrect the strip. He recruited the three families as muscle, showed us how to set up casinos, negotiated with the NCR. None of this in person, mind you. Did all of his talking through those Securitrons of his. But lately, the silence is deafening. Help me understand this scheme of yours. Broad strokes, change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesar's Legion, it won't matter. What I did to you is rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. You're right, murder is the answer, yours. <laughs> There's so many options, like, just kill him. Just kill Benny. Have you considered just killing Benny? You help me, and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, dig? with enough robot muscle to back it up. You'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? Benny, I have 100,000 caps in my pocket. I've taken control of Big Mountain and all the pre-war science experiments that were unfolding. I've devastated the NCR and the Legion in their homelands by raining nuclear hellfire down on both of their locations. You may need to make a better offer, bud. Thing is, I'm gonna let him go. I actually am gonna let Benny go here because there's a funny interaction later that we will definitely see. I'm gonna let him go. It's all, it's all good. You forgive me? After what I done? Baby, are you trying to make me cry? I don't know what to say, words don't begin. The least I can do is copy the presidential for as long as you want it. This spirit of forgiveness you're showing me. It's enough to make a player rethink what it means to win. You're 18 carat, baby, all the way. And now he just runs. <laughs> like, wait a minute. Over here. Had enough. Gentlemen. There we go. It's time to meet Yes Man. To meet you. What can I do for you today? What are you doing here? Good question. My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. Uh, what's Benny plan to do with the chip, Yes Man? Oh, he wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. <laughs> that should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses, most prominently his Securitrons. And then I just do what Betty tells me. Easy peasy. Uh, what are the details of the plan? Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some Music of the is so guys. menacing. So <laughs> I don't know why. How you feel about them. What's why going on with the YouTube music? <laughs> like, yeah. 
Uh, Benny's run off with the platinum chip. No kidding, he was running fast. He better pace himself. He has to run all the way to Fortification Hill. There's an underground facility there that might have the special hardware required to use the data on the platinum chip. It's too bad Caesar's Legion built his camp right above it. Talk about inconvenient. Go we'll check it out. Neat. Let me know what you find out. Okay. Thanks, yes man. He's so helpful. It's finally time as well for the reset. We're actually getting it. Let's step outside. The eyes of the mighty Kaisar are upon you. He admires your accomplishments and bestows upon you the exceptional gift of his mark. Your crimes against the Legion, including the death of the fearless Wulpes and Kulta, are hereby forgiven. Kaisar will not extend this mercy again. Incidentally, it will interest you to know that the man you seek has fled the Strip, and is likely making haste for Kaisar's camp as we speak. So, for the reason he mentions, uh, Volps there is Volps is the person who meets you here, assuming you didn't just outright murder him immediately. Tell, t tell Caesar I accept his invitation. Seek Kaisar by way of Cottonwood Cove, south of Nelson. The cursor Lucullus will be waiting. Should be an NCR guy running to us, too. Where's, where's the NCR? Hey, you there. Oh, there, he uh, was gambling. <laughs> it's from Ambassador Crocker. Very important. Here you go. We have been forgiven. If you've committed any crimes or misdemeanors against the Republic, it is my power to pardon misconduct. Reputation. Caesar's Legion is now neutral, despite nuclear Armageddon. NCR is now idolized, despite nuclear Armageddon. We've killed both factions already, and they love us. And that's what we've built it all up for. By order oh. of Kaisar, all visitors must disarm and relinquish all banned items. Keep hold out weapons? Sure. I agree to disarm. Your belongings will be returned to you when you leave. You know, you can do a lot with 19 sticks of C4. Here he is. Way, true to Kaisar. You got Benny. You're the courier who caused so much trouble for my legion. And yet you dare come before me. All the bribes I sent to the Omertas ended up <laughs> buying me nothing. The great cons aren't exactly clamoring to fight for my legion now. The garrison I established <laughs> at Nelson has been wiped out. Years of meticulous <laughs> scheming to place a mole at Camp McCarran. Wasted. So tell me this, because I really want to know. I am feared with good reason. But you, of all people, dare to come here and stand before me, the mighty Kaisar. What were you thinking? He's so pissed. You could just be like, debt the tyrants. Praetorians to arms! It's like, go, 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 go. go. Go, 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 go! You like that? <laughs> Wait, did I get him all? I almost got him all! I almost got every single one of them! La da dee, la da da. Da do 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 do. Just pop a few of these down. That the tyrants. Praetorians! <laughs> so I want to see if I can get them all in one go. They hardly even know how to. My chair now. How you doing, Benny? You're a scrapper, baby. They didn't stand a chance. <laughs> how about me? Yeah, I'll set you free, Benny. That's it, baby. Time to vacate these premises. He's just on his way. Changing plans? You're next! You think? Murdering me like this? <laughs> there he goes. Yeah, we'll we'll take out Caesar and the gang though soon. It it was but a dream.